Today on MTG Unpacked, we have quite a smorgasbord of packs here. Three packs of Corset 2020, and Guilds, Ravnica, Legends, Wild the Spark, Theros, and Armanket. Alright, and with me to do the pack blessings, we have Tezzeret and Liliana. So let's introduce the patrons today. We have Brian Simmons, and Allah and Salvo. So thank you for being patrons. Let's get stuck into it. So Brian gets two packs of Core 2020, Theros and Armanket. So I think that's right. Blessed by Liliana. So there we are. And we'll do it like that. And Allah and Salvo. One pack Core 2020. War of the Spark, Guilds, and Allegiance, blessed by Tezzeret. Okay, so there we are. Some logistical issues here. Let's get cracking for Brian. Thank you for being a patron. Corset 2020. Okay, we start off with a Goblin Bird Grabber. Excellent. Aerial Assault. Convolute, Goblin Smuggler, Thicket Crasher, Feral Abomination, Rabid Bite, Heart Piercer Bow, Chandra's Outrage, Glaring Aegis, and Uncommon's Angel of Vitality, Salvager of Ruin, Noxious Grasp, and Rare is Hanged Executioner. Creature Spirit 1-1 one, one for 3 with Flying when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one White Spirit, Creature Token with Flying, and for three and why exile it, exile target creature. And a tranquil cove and a soldier token. So instantly the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Let's go with Armand Cat next. Looking for the invocations here, people. I haven't pulled one of those in a long while. Start off with an anointer priest, Tarkrop Skirmisher, Bloodlust Inciter, Sacred Cat. Giant Spider, Cursed Minotaur, Evolving Wilds, Hooded Brawler, River Serpent, Compulsory Rest, and Uncommon's Trial of Ambition, Hepatra's Mark, Defiant Great Moor, Giant Hippo, and the, that's a mythic! Combat Celebrant, Creature Human Warrior 4 1 for 3. If it hasn't been exerted this turn, you may exert it as it attacks, and when you do untap all other creatures you control, and after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. And a helpful tip here, an exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. Alright, nice to see a mythic, even if it's not crazy valuable these days, and a planes and a warrior token. Moving right along to Theros. We'll be doing some god hunting here, and Theros is coming back next year. First quarter, so one of the sets they announced. Who is looking forward to the return to Theros? Leave a note in the comments. Alright, we have God's Willing, Nessian Corsa, Boon of Erebos, Vaporkin, Farika's Cure, Defend the Hearth, Leonin's Snarecaster, Priest of Erebus, Read the Bones, and Uncommon's Destructive Revelry, Artisan's Sorrow, Warrior's Lesson, and the rare, very nice pull, Whip of Erebos, Legendary Enchantment Artifact for four. Creatures you control have lifelink, and for two and two black, tap, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step, and if it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. So a bit of a wall of text there to get through, and a foil mountain with an island and a soldier token. All right. Onward to Corset 2020 again. So not doing too badly today for Brian. We have Inspiring Captain, Anticipate, Infuriate, Moorland Inquisitor, Mammoth Spider, Blade Brand, Anvil Wrought Raptor, Chandra's Embercat, Glaring Aegis, Boreal Elemental, and Uncommon's Air Elemental, Yarox Wave Crusher, we're getting all the elementals today, Diamond Knight, and the rare is Legion's End, it's a sorcery for two, 
Exile target creature and opponent controls with convert mana cost to a less than all other creatures that player controls with the same name as that creature. Then that player reveals their hand and exiles all cards with that name from their hand and graveyard. Wow, really cleaning out that card there. And a forest and a treasure token. Okay, so there we are, Brian. Thank you once again for being a patron. And enjoy the pools this month. Alright, Allah and Salvo up next. I think this is a good order. Okay, starting off with Corset 2020. If I could ever open the pack, you'd think I'd be out of practice, but... Let's see, we get a Goblin Smuggler! Daybreak Chaplain, Metropolis Sprite, Ferocious Pup, Audacious Thief, Anvilrot Raptor, Silverback Shaman, Gorging Vulture, Tectonic Rift, Winged Words, and Uncommon's Iron Root Warlord, Warden of Evos Isle, Scuttle Mutt, and rare is Graf Digger's Cage, Artifact for One. Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield and players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. So a nice piece of graveyard hate there. And an island and an elemental token. I'm going to put him in as well because he is quite bright and colourful. Next up, Ravnica Allegiance. So on the hunt for shock lands, I think... Uh, Servo is looking for those shock lands here, so maybe we can get one today. We have a Feral Marker, or Maker, Concordia Pegasus. Thought Collapse! That's what happens sometimes if you watch too many videos on this channel. It's a little bit like Mind Rot. Gift of Strength, Footlight Fiend, Gruel Locket, Wrecking Beast, Senate Courier, Scuttle Gator. That's... Creepy, Senate Griffin, and Uncommon's Biogenic Upgrade, Zerta Goblin, Creature Goblin Berserker, very cool, Essence Capture, and the rare is Gruel Spellbreaker, which I swear is not an Ogre Warrior, but is the Hulk in disguise, or maybe he's not too disguised. 3-3 three, three for 3 has Riot, so this creature enters the battlefield with your choice of a plus one, plus one counter or haste. As Trample, as long as it's your turn, you and Gruul Spellbreaker have Hexproof. And a Rakdos Guildgate, the best guild, and a Spirit Token. What is your favourite guild? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, Guilds of Ravnica up next. So no Shockland in Allegiance, but maybe in Guilds. We have Maximize Velocity, Healer's Hawk. Wishcoin Crab, Never Happened, Crushing Canopy, Dark Blade Agent, Devious Cover-Up, Erstwhile Trooper, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Whisper Agent, Uncommon's Night Vale Predator, Swathe Cutter Giant, Street Riot, and yes, Shockland, Overgrown Tomb, Land Swamp Forest, you can tap it for black or green as it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life if you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Fantastic pull there, and a Celestia Guildgate, and an Angel token. Very cool to see. Alright. Rounding things up here with War of the Spark. So I think that was a good choice, picking the uh, guilds there. We have Raging Crunch. Gideon's Sacrifice to Fairy's Time Twist. Spark Reaper. Courage in Crisis. Gateway Plaza. Arlen's Wolf, Wall of Runes, Divine Arrow, and Uncommon's Bond of Passion, Nissa's Triumph, Invade the City, and you know that means a rare or mythic Planeswalker is coming up. It is Ugin, the Ineffable. There he is. It's been a while. Oogster, Legendary Planeswalker, Ugin, four loyalty for six. Color spells you cast cost two less to cast. His plus one. It's so the top card of your library face down and look at that credit to two color spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the exile card into your hand. His minus three. Destroy target permanent that's one or more colors. Very cool. And a foil, Kaya's ghost form. With a swamp and a zombie army. Alright, so some nice pulls there for Ella and Salvo. Thank you for being patrons. We'll tuck this in here. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.